Hi, it's Sarah with Play to Learn with Sarah, and today I had a big, I have a big post in my head, but I'm not quite able to get it all out yet. So I wanted to just go ahead and do a quick video to show you how I'm using my file effects or my Franklin Planner, which I'm totally loving. Um, I've been using it for a couple of weeks, and um, the the kid at Michael's yesterday was like, oh my gosh, you're so organized. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm working. I'm using it religiously every single day. It goes everywhere, everywhere with me. It goes up to bed. It's sitting on the cabinet outside the shower. It is everywhere with me so that it is now becoming my external brain. And I don't have to store all that information, you know, try and be so busy remembering everything in my head that I can actually put it someplace and use that time to act to think and focus on what it is I need to focus on. So my Franklin planner is this one. Um, I'll put a link to it. I can't, I, I can't remember which one exactly it is, but I will put a link to it. So it's just a cute little Franklin planner. Um, got all of the information here in the front. Let me see. Let me take out my driver's license so you can't quite see everything about me here. Um, that would be good, huh? Um, you don't need to know all of that information. You just want to know how I'm using it. Anyway, so my Franklin Planner here, I'm using it as my wallet also. I've got my um, my ID goes here. I've got all the cards that I typically use, um, insurance cards. And then I've got a little, um, it's got a little binder here. And this is where I keep the things that still need to be worked on, still need to be used. So I've got some, um, a couple of coupons in here. Um, yeah, I guess it's mostly just coupons or like there's a note. I need to call the insurance company. So there's a note from the insurance company. Um, um, things, other things I need to give people. Um, it's got a little um, zipper section here, and I've got five bucks in there so that I'm not caught without any cash on me. And then it's got another little opening here, and I'm keeping all of my receipts and stuff in there. So I've got all of my wallet is right here, and it's with me at all times. And then I have my binder portion of it. I've got, um, the way I has, have it set up, the first part is hard to see here, so it's kind of a bright light. Um, I've got notes at the very beginning, and then um, I made my own little little binder thing. I'll do a post about that, too, a binder divider. And um, this insert I am actually using. Some of them I just kind of made myself. Um, and I'll do more posts about how I made my own inserts, but this is the monthly view. And then I like this little thingy here. Um, I This is one of the inserts that I was already using, kind of a calendar program, and I, I like that. You can see I've got um, highlights for what's going on. Different colors mean different things. And then I've got a daily tracker. And um, I've got just the other side. So I've gone and put all of those in for each week of September. And then it moves on to October and I can plan. And then I've got my very first tab here in the back is um, my home tab. I have a printable grocery list that I um, put on the blog last week. And so then I can keep track whenever those things, oh gosh, I'm upstairs and I'm out of... Um, shampoo, then I can just write it down immediately. Um, what else? Just got a couple of extras, so they have some. And then I've got any projects that are going. I've got some a list of projects. And then if they have different steps, like what I, what adjustments I want to make to this binder file of facts thing. Um, so I've got the different, um, I took the list here, make adjustments to file effects, and then I put it on this project and um, can list out everything that needs to be done for that project. Um, then I have my blogs, and I've got just little little things here. I probably need to do ones that are a little um, more sturdy because these kind of pull off. But for now, I've just got my different blogs, ideas, blog posts that I want to do, notes that I have. Um, here's some for each of them. And um, for the blogs, I just did each because I have so much going on and um, I need an external brain. But this one I just did. Each one has a list and then I made a little divider and I've got all of my um, notes and project ideas for the for each of those. Um, daily trackers, I'll talk about that in another video, what I've been using. Um, my Etsy shop, my t-shirt ideas and bow ideas, 
um, all the classes. I've got some a blog design class coming up and blogging classes coming up this week. Um, and then just extra pages of notes back here. And then I found these cute little um, folders, too, that you can um, put in. And I don't have any business cards from anybody yet, but maybe I'll get some soon. And another little notepad that um, I took some notes on um, when I was at Connor School. or just things to do. And I keep a little pen. So, this goes with me everywhere I go. I keep it... Um, as I said, next to my bed, I take it, it's in my bag at all times. This is, this is what I keep at all times. And, um, I really, really, really suggest that you, um, that you try a file fax system yourself. And, um, I did, I bought some inserts, but they didn't quite work for me. So, um, I made some of my own or just looked around online to see what I could print out. And um, so it's definitely worth the time to continue to keep trying if it doesn't work for you. If somebody else's system isn't how your brain is organized, then definitely, um, try and figure out how you can reorganize it to get it to work for you. Um, so. Don't give up. Just keep trying and keep track and you will be able to um, get it all done. Anyway, thanks for stopping by Play to Learn with Sarah and check out um, all the other fun things I have on the site. Have a good day.